Our vision was to have a school campus that gives us the strongest educational outcomes for our students. Hi, my name is Douglas Atkins. I'm the executive director of Chartwell School. The idea behind Green Building is really integrated design. The place we started on this project was looking at daylighting. We saw that the research indicates how much students benefit in their learning process by having adequate daylighting everywhere in every instructional space on the school campus. Notice how large this wall is of windows, very deliberately sized and placed in the geometry in relation to the track of the sun that floods this space with enough daylighting that we don't need to use electrical lights, artificial lighting throughout the day. It turns out that that also helps the students in their learning process. One of the interesting things that we found as we went through the entire campus on daylighting strategy was that it dropped our need for electricity by 50%. Once we got to that point with electricity, it made economical sense for us to afford a photovoltaic array that allowed us to get to net zero electricity over the course of an entire calendar year. This is a new idea for this area, and that is taking advantage of fog, which is very prevalent, coming through the net, condensing into water and collecting in this tank that can be then used for irrigation purposes. Another important aspect of the program was resource conservation, and water is a big deal here in the peninsula. So we built ourselves a rain catchment system, takes rainwater right off the roof, collects in a sump that then gets charged up into this cistern behind me, 8,000 gallons. Automatically, when it's full, as you can see by the gauge, it will overspill into this raceway, and this is part of the uh, interactive design process that we wanted to bring for the students' benefit. So they can be aware of how water gets used, how scarce it is, and the types of things that they need to pay attention to with scarce resources like water. One of the things that we found is that the framers really became enthusiastic as carpenters and people who appreciate fine wood products. And they came up with this suggestion of using a real tree trunk, a locally felled Monterey cypress, and integrating it into design. And here you can see they've installed it in such a way that it actually is a structural support for the ceiling. Our desks were designed with a lot of teacher input for the wireless environment of the future. They were also manufactured without using VOCs, as was everything else on the campus. Uh, we have recycled carpet tiles. Underneath, we have radiant floor heating. Part of our program for building sustainable was to bring it into the educational curriculum as much as possible. This is one vehicle by which we do that. We established control systems that monitor the weather, the heating and ventilation system, electricity, efficiency, and we put them all on a computer so that the students or the faculty or visitors can access and see how the building is actually responding to input on this. We then learn more about how we can be more efficient or how we can operate our building in a, in a way that makes it better for us to learn.